and welcome back, folks, to Gone Last at Rewind Falling. And welcome back to uh, Story About, about My Uncle. Own Goal. Yeah. <laughs> Still my uncle, yeah, my dog, my 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 donkle. Don't yes. Oh, okay. um, that's uh, that's um, one of the. Uh, well, it since became a Undertale meme. What? Um, where it's so so like, you know, after the events of the original, the the pacifist run. Yeah. Uh, there, there's, an, uh, there's like a whole story, yeah. uh, fun storyline where obviously you know Sam's getting through Tori eventually, yeah. and um, Frisk is like, "What do I call you?" And it's just, and this was like, "What's up? You don't know which call me, your dad or your uncle." And, went, and then she just comes up like, "Oh my!" And then you get the whole segment of um, you know the uncle book, mm. like, "Hey, I'm your uncle's hands." <laughs> <laughs> I miss uncle book. Of course, that name is. Well, at least that explains what that particular sequence of text-to-speech device was a reference to. Well, what? What Uncle Buck? There's a, 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 a show I watch on YouTube if the Emperor had a text-to-speech device. Oh, yeah, I see, I see com coming up on the history sometimes. Yeah, but uh, in that, there's, a, there's one of the specials has uh, a space marine getting drunk and saying to, to uh, Lehman Russ, you're still my uncle. You're still my dog. My home slice. My 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 uncle. Yes. Wait, have you never watched Uncle Buck? No. Oh my God. How have you never watched Uncle Buck? Easily. It's a classic film. It's got um, John Candy in. Wait, which way am I supposed to be going? Mm. I mean, that way towards the village. That, yeah, I was gonna say that's po that, the arrow points me in that direction. Did you already go to the village? No, we, we we went around that village. I haven't um, been into here, go in that but that I'm wondering because there's all this going, o going over there. Well, maybe you need to go talk to Elder Sahashrila. <laughs> El El Elder Slasherilla. Yes, yep. he looks very elderish. Our name is Sunny. One minute. Uh, Our name? Yeah, okay, that's better. It's... We will do our best to assist you. What do you mean, he our sounds like. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. Have you he sounds like William Neeson. Right, share with your sacred crystal. A powerful. Yay! Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it. If you return our friend to us. Our friend. Still sweet. That was inappropriate. Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to... Is that the crystal? What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, madam, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, madam. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village He's doesn't mean I am. Like. I'm nothing mm. like you. I'll never be. And then she just oh, stomps yes. off. It is true that we want to keep us safe. But she does not understand. Of course she doesn't. Behind us is the power core. Take it and go to the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Sure thing, man. In other words, yeah, I know she's gonna completely disappear. Me. Why do we keep saying behind us like there's two of you? Because he's royalty. They they use the royal we, and then it goes everywhere. <laughs> <sighs> okay, now we've got a fully charged. Almost up the circle is a No, no, the, the circle's the uh, indicator for the mega jump thing. So we've got a fall. We've got our full uh, grapply hook Sick thing. Yep. I'm waiting for it. What, for me to fall? Yeah. Maybe not today. Not today. Not today, bitch. Die, potato. <laughs> Checkpoints! Checkpoint. Check. Uh, did you ever play the Treasure Planet Places one game? No, I didn't. Well, it was um, 
kind of weird. So I never, I've watched like, the game before I watched the movie fully. And then I found something, so originally uh, Morph talking, you know, like completely, mm -hmm. was, was nothing new. And then when I realised he never talks in the film, I'm like, why do they have him talking in the game then? He didn't really use words at all in the film. Yeah. Tony Cross is an awesome film. Oh, yeah. Did you even think that one up? Yes. See? It's still hanging, hanging out of the thing now. See? I picked up the thingy. Okay. Oh. Bugger. Um, fuck. You, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be up here. I'm pretty sure you just broke the game! Oh well, I'm used to that. Yes, we all know you break games a lot. Not intentionally, but physically. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, that's what this reminds me of. What? There was a, um, you know how I used to like my escape games, point yeah. and click stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was one called Submachine. And there was a very different different verses of them. And Submachine was about basically uh, the guy who basically finds a way to go up to through different worlds and different you know, through different rooms and stuff. And it was really, really freaking cool. I'd like portals and crystals and all sorts like that. And that's what this game reminds me of, it's Submachine 5, the root. Okay. We we'll have to we'll have to visit them at some point. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I mean, it's only, I mean, you've got the Super Machine Zero, which is the ancient one, Super Machine One, and two, it's the lighthouse, and then it goes into the real, you know, like the weird alien kind of text stuff. Well, it's not alien, but weird kind of text stuff. Like the first two don't seem that bad that much, mm. and then you find out the crystals and all the other stuff, and it's. Like I have problems thing. with these lights. What the fact that they blur whenever you go like that? No, not so much the fact that they blur; it's the fact that they are red, as you can see, yes. and then you move the thing and they turn orange. Weird. Maybe it's because you're focusing. What? The I also have a problem with the pop up. Clearly, scholar. Like the clearly aperture science logo. That's right above them. There. Oh yeah. This game just stole everything from everywhere, didn't it? Well, to be fair, that, that same symbol was you. Was wasn't that the same symbol that they used in Red Faction Guerrilla? I don't for know. For the Ultra Corporation. And presumably all the other Red Faction games. I didn't really play any Red Faction games. Ooh, how are you okay, going to say now, this? Now you've... Yeah, oh. now, now I've failed. Whee! Oh, shit! Whee! that we're actually a kid in this. Yes. We keep. I think we. I kept forgetting that in the last episode. But well, you keep. We keep forgetting that we're supposed to be like ten or something. Yes. I mean, it's like it's. It, I keep thinking it's like Nathan Drake there, or some other adventurer that does platforming and shit. You mean Indiana Jones? Yes. <laughs> On the edge of the chasms, it struck me how much darker it was in there. The shadows were black as ink. And although Shrooms. I tried not to be afraid, I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well? Or was it something else? Here are me dragons. I like this silent room from Breath of the Wild. Ooh, how did you know that? I saw the arrow pointing downwards. However, what I'm not sure about is where the uh, ground ends. What and where the okay, ground ends? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the ground end? I'm not sure. Oh shit. It's right there. Where did our heroes go? I'm not sure you meant to go there. I think that was just a symbol that's, um, you know, I think you meant to go across the bridge. Yeah, well, the bridge Ooh, is. Not like you hit. No, I'm like, I'm like Shell and. You like that, that guy? Yeah, and that guy from Soul Axe, I'm immune to fall damage. Although I am expecting one of these bridges to collapse when I try crossing it. Um, to be fair, Doom Guy was immune to fall damage in every game except the recent one where 
literally if you get too much fall damage, you ju your body just splits apart, which is obviously logical. But in the original, the guy was like that much of a badass, he could like fall from like the top of a map anywhere and it wouldn't phase him. I mean, have you, have you seen the, is it the game theory or the scientific thing that, that shows how that doom guy can run like pretty much as fast as a mm -hmm. speeding truck? Oh, interesting. I found the plot. So, go to, so you they... Have something else you do for Craig. Tadpoles, well, humans, morning, and then back to the Fred eggs. took me down to the mm. lake to watch the mayflies. And everything was still larvae floated on the lake surface and slowly transformed into beautiful mayflies. I was going to assume I wasn't actually supposed to go over there. The bottom of that lake for a whole year. Uh, okay, uh, that's, okay, so that's what I'm supposed to be hooking on to. For one single day. That's sad. What if the only day you were out of the water it was raining? That would be sad. Wee rock in my face. Oh my foot. Oh my face. Not the face. Okay, so we got one, two, three. We and two and three. And when it hits it'll knock you to the ground. Oh, Ooh, there's something hey, there. look! I found uh, a piece of decoration from the Avatar movie. <laughs> Wait, what does that say? Well, it's obviously supposed to be some kind of runic script. Presumably belonging to the frog people. Maybe it's... Yeah. Because there's no, there's no rune script that I recognise. And of, of all people, yes, you'd be the Rooney type script. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I might not be able to translate them properly, but well, I can recognise them. If we ever come across games which have runes, we may have to write them down in... And ask Anthony. Yes. Conve yeah, it's, it's always convenient not knowing experts. Oh. Hang on. That's the indicator that means there's plot over there. No, I always indicate a meaning there was a thing over there. Hi, I'm glad you came. Oh, there she is. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. They cling so desperately yeah, to what they here. won't ever do anything you. Yes, right. It feels better when Fred is around. But I told Madeline I didn't mind. I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. They are done by people who left the village long ago. They're called the strays. Manila wants to talk about them. Because of course they I started are. translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred A stray had. book. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder what it means. Oh boy. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me don't on your back? The It'll be faster okay. you can carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Sure, hop Turn on. around and I'll hop off. <laughs> yeah, You're not going to drop me, right? Of course okay. not. Let's go. Okay, don't move when I the eye is open. I up on my back. And with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. Well, that means that uh, if we could be bothered, we could write, write this down and then we'd be able to translate like half the language. Who would learn something like that? I look, giving a child a peanut butter right now. When have I done that? Oh yeah, today. Yeah, your uh, smaller counterpart. <laughs> well, if it was my smaller counterpart, more like my sibling. Yes. Even though they are too D2 to your C3 people. A lot of pe unfortunately, a lot of people do think they're my smaller counterparts. So, from, from the double over there is open, it's going to tell me that we have enemies and monsters and ghosty goons to face. Well, not exactly. My, my suspicion is more sort of forced stealth sections. And we love them, don't we? With Maddie on my back, I had to be careful to bump my head on the ceiling. Of course. 
Yes. Oh yeah, Buddy will die. Maybe not. Okay, well now that we've got her on her back, let's see if she can translate that other bit that we found. Assuming she wants to. Mm. Wee! Well that's a fairly quick way of travelling. Except when you miss. Yes, and fall into a giant chasm, which, um, well, you seem to like doing. Five lights. You would not believe your ass. <laughs> I was waiting for that life. He's not going to do it. I'm going to do it. It must be done. Okay, bitch. What the frick does this say? Well, bitch, what does this say? She obviously doesn't want to say. But. Um, five letter word. Five letter word. I N D E X index, which is what I thought I said in before. Index. Yeah, because of the way it's wrote, I thought it was just like a weirdly wrote way of saying index. Wait, is it me or is everything like glowing, electric blue up there? What, you mean like those cracks? Yes. Yes, they are, there is. Oh. They are those. They are r 2 d 2 is. They all. Oh, that was a bit more of a bump. What do you expect? I'm carrying someone on my back. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware. Um, okay. Wee! Wee! Ooh, that looks. Hellscape fish down there? Yep. Welcome to hell. Oh, no bitch. Read this. Farewell, old life. Let us start anew. The straits were ordinary people living in the village long ago. They disagreed with the old traditions and left to form their own village, or they were thrown out from misbehaving. The stories differ a bit. Well, when you got stories like that, of course they'll differ a bit. Okay, well. Do do do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh my foot! Oh my face! Oh my back! Oh my everything! I've got an owie on my everything. Sure you do, Ralph. Uh, this hole will not defeat me. I have defeated many such holes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that was my fault. Why did you let go of the control? Yeah. Oh, smack. Oh shit. Paris is foiled again. Drat, I'm, I'm drat, right. and double threat. And triple drat. My cat did him not enough, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Paris <laughs> <laughs> is foiled again. I'm going to go hire some thugs to kidnap you. <laughs> I'm a billionaire, so cat, nobody will even think about my pressing charges. You know what? Do you know what there needs to be at some point? There needs to be a dustily muttling in a fly machine, like fun animation. Like so many, you know, like, where's Mitchell like, I'm sick of you guys, you're shit! You're all fired! <laughs> Getting some real freaking pigeon hunters! Why are we fucking rich going after a pigeon anyway? Oh yeah, that was why, because it was the World War II, wasn't it? Seemingly bottomless pits loomed below us, everywhere in the cave. The further we Stop got, defeating the walls. I'm not, I'm making sure that what's in front of me is ground. Down there oh. Was getting fainter. I was Fair enough. That I wasn't alone. <gasps> it's hell. No, it's it isn't. Do, 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 do. No, it's the S car probably. Well, actually, probably specifically whatever planet we're on is car. 
I was I was more humming the E1 M1 thing. Ah, I see. Of what? Beware. See? Monsters. Ghosty goos. Ghosty goos? Okay. Let me end you. Oh, sorry, I thought there was eyes and like something's following me. I would say that looked like secretish. Beware of the man who speaks in hands. For he is very handy. Yeah. Is it me or is it screen shaking? It is. What was that? I've uh, never heard a creature sounding as terrifying, and I imagined it wouldn't be happening. Monsters told you. And then you see these big teeth go. Ah. I wouldn't be surprised if these things I'm grappling off were its teeth. When we get to this, we're about checkpoint. Okay. So yeah, that's been episode three of Story About Winkle. We're getting into more horrific and hellish and other. There's probably, a giant, there's probably a giant creature waiting for you to drop again for him to go snap. Yes. So yeah. Something Cthulhuoid. Anyway. You waste a Cthulhuoid. Everything's Cthulhuoid if you look at it hard enough. Yeah. Anyway. Right, anyway, I've been gone. I'm rewind. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.